All right, it's that time, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go there too. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna record it. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today is Wednesday, April 26th, 2023. Heading over to a job in Hewlett, which is part of the five towns in Nassau County on Long Island in the great state of New York. Today, we're taking out a old gas-fired steam boiler and putting in the U.S. boiler, Burnham, Steam Max 125. It's a beautiful, beautiful boiler, specifically designed for steam, revolutionary, and the first of its kind. It doesn't have any of those stupid pins above the water line. Why? Because they don't need to be there. Just saying. Sitting next to me is my Watts TK9A backflow prevention device. I came back from getting calibrated, and um, Peter is late this morning. It's fashionably late, hopefully he looks good. We'll see. I have Daniel picking up the boiler from Ferguson. I have the other mic behind me. And uh, Peter will show up to the job when he shows up to the job. Are you ready, guys? Pull up your pants, tie your boots. Let's get the show on the road. All right. A little after 7.30 in the morning. There she is. Whale McLean. EGPG? Probably. So, let's do a review. What's wrong with this installation? Number one, we have three inch steam main coming off the top of the boiler, and they put a T in here. They put a T in here, and this should not be here. This needs to be an elbow. This needs to be at somewhere T here, going up to here. So the T is wrong purpose, and this is installed improperly. It's been that way for 30 years. It's worked, but it's gonna work much better when we're done. So we have, perfect, we have two inch here, we have two inch there, and we will come up at the top of the new boiler, come across, one T to pick up one, another T to pick up another, continue across with our equalizer, and go to our Hartford loop, which is slightly low. <laughs> wow, very low. Uh, the, the bottom of the Hartford loop should be right in the middle of that sight glass. So we are low by about six inches. Let's see. Anything else wrong here? Eh, I think that's about it. Mike, feedback? No? Great boiler, James. <laughs> Hit it with a hammer. <laughs> All right. So a little after 730, 733 to be exact, we're going to start taking this bad boy apart and uh, wait for Daniel to show up with the new boiler. All right, boiler is de-jacketed. We're working on taking out the burner tray. And 7.55. Daniel just showed up and parked in the driveway, opened the back doors, and of course, there's no boiler in the back. I'm like, where's the boiler? Was I supposed to pick up a boiler? <laughs> Can't make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. You right there, Peter? Yeah. Peter, yep. do you dig boilers? Uh, I do love them. Yeah, they're nice. They give you nice and warmth in the winter. <laughs> All right, we cut the threaded rod, retention rod on the front and in the back. See, there it is, right there. You can't see it, but now you can see it. See, Mikey Pipes gave illumination, and now you can see. Let there be light. Okay, I want to bet that. <laughs> wow, Peter, I got that on camera. <laughs> All right, um, hold on. Let me uh, be creative. Okay. Move it towards me. Oh, okay. Here you go. Take this one. Take that one. Carefully. Hey, good. <laughs> Teamwork. Just try to bring it out there. Yeah. Watch the pipe yeah. above your head. 
Okay, good. Oh, it'll be stuck in the bottle a little bit, huh? Oh, yeah, take this. Peter, and go to my truck, grab some uh, towels. It just fell apart. Okay. All I did is push them, Mike. <laughs> uh, we have, we have to grip them in the middle. I'll go in the middle. Because these ends are uh, stuck together. Stuck together? Yeah, there's something there stuck together. See if it's in the middle. I don't know. Oh, it's just oh. rusted free. Oh, if you want it. Take it. I should have said it before. <laughs> oh, oh. No, okay. I knew there's a reason for stealing towels from the hotels I stay at. See? They're good for soaking up boiler water. Okay, I'll be back uh, a little after 9, a little bit. Okay. But you don't need me, right? Nope, not at all. Right. Okay. Please take water. Or... Okay, I appreciate it. We appreciate it. Thank you. We're good. Can we retain the, can we uh, get the kids to help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They can make sure that the, the I don't I don't know we'll fix we'll give we'll give them a job. Yeah, you know what? education is better at their at for the youth. This is education. It is education. You're right. Like there once was a man named Crockett who put his. And this is an education they can actually use in life versus. Uh, I'm binary, non-binary, any of this weird really crap. This is <laughs> them they. they use in life. Yes, correct. Something that can never be outsourced to a call center in China or Indonesia or even South Korea. <clears throat> All right, so we got to take out that male adapter right there. We're going to cut it. Uh... All right, so we cut out of the way. Now we're going to make a couple slices into the copper. And we're going to take a hammer and chisel. And just like that. <laughs> Almost. Just like that, the two inch copper male adapter is gone. Just like that one. And there's no imperfections in the threading. All right, there goes our inch and a half. That dielectric union right there wasn't working out too well for it, so we cut it out. And since I don't have any inch and a half mega press couplings, uh, we cut cut out with the grinder the cast iron uh, 90 there. So now it's gone. All right. It's that time, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm, I'm going to go there, too. If I'm going to die, I'm going to record it. Okay. Ready? All right. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Here comes the first step. Keep going. Come on. Okay. 
Here it's right now, going down. Just keep sliding. Hold my up. We're falling the floor. You still good? Okay. Alright, now I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna bind. We got one step left. Well, can you get out? I can get out, but we have water here. <laughs> we got a water and gas main right there. Okay, go down slowly. Slowly. Where are we down yet? Almost. Okay? That's good. Good. Now, do not go, do not put it down because we have a gas. We have a water main right there, and <laughs> that's not going to be good. Let's see if we can slide it. Ow, hold on. Okay, don't. Don't hold on. By the way, I felt a little shock when I touched that water pipe, by the way. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's go. Make a right point towards you. Where you just. Oh, you want. No, I don't think we could turn. Can we get in here? No, we we'll most likely slide it. Okay, we're almost at the end of the thing. You go there. Make a turn. You uh, when, uh, you think we could turn? Uh, I think we're better off just trying to. Slide. Yeah. This is going to come off once we turn. Yep. Hold on. Keep on. Oh, turn now. Turn, 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 turn. Turn, turn, turn. Okay. Okay. Fuck yeah! Yeah! We have Frankie. <laughs> It'd be a little better. If we had Nick, we'd all be home. All right. <laughs> that was nice. We did it. Alright, we have this to worry about. There we go. I'm in here. Alright. Oh yeah, Peter ate the weed this morning. You want to slide on here right now? Yeah, we'll slide right on top of the platform. Back up one so you can turn it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You're going to go all Daniel's commission if you scratch up the, the appliances. We're just going to the gas uh, Just come on this end right here. All right, yeah, you're going to have to, yeah, you're gonna have to keep turning because the gas pipe's in the way. Yeah, why don't you put it down? Yeah, spit. You gotta go. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No, no, no. Oh, go that way? I thought he was gonna just watch the cabin here. Maybe spin on 180. You need to go back, spin 180 without him. Ah! You're drunk driving. Don't be. Yeah, Frankie. <laughs> I heard Frankie got, got trashed on the plane and then tried to get in a rental car. And close to the gas piping. Now this is where we're gonna have to uh, take, it take it off the hand truck. Yeah. yeah. Well, you gotta be able to get the hand truck up. Yeah. So, so we're down. Yeah. Drop it like it's hot. Well, not really. <laughs> All right. Now, you remember how to do the, the hand truck thingy? It's it's very easy. Give it a little. Oh, you did it, Peter! You did it. How do you feel? You feel like a, look, you're you're schwitzing. <laughs> schwitzing. He says schwitzer. It's tight. It's tight. That's what she, that's what she said. Your sister last night. <laughs> I am not, I'm not proud of it. It's still tight. It's still tight. I'm out. Really? I just. I... No, not you're not. I went back. Yeah. Now she's loose. She was loose. It's loose. Uh, we'll figure this out off camera. Why is that first nipple? And it's called the nipple, right? Why is that first nipple always the most difficult one? Mike spent about, I don't know, five minutes working on it. I spent about maybe two minutes working on it. 
Now Daniel's working on it. Let's see how long it's going to take to get that nipple in. It is 9.13. It's 9.13. Want, want my big black thing? Uh, yeah. Sure. Nope. Here. I'll just lower the intensity a little bit. Oh, it's already dying. So we got that out. We're working on this. This is the hard for loop. See the T in the middle of the side glass. Um, God help the guy who has to change the lower to cut off. It'll work. We get the cover on. Yeah, we we'll get the cover on. Okay. All right. Let's see. Getting the cover off. That's a different story. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. We could put an elbow here and then come up, but it's already in place and I'm not doing it. <clears throat> oh. oh, oh, come on, Daniel, <clears throat> Daniel, son, you can do it. <laughs> and we're not messing around. We're, we're trying to get this in. As soon as we get this in, we could start pressing together our steam header piping, but it just doesn't want to go in. We may have to take the top cover off. <laughs> we may have to take the cow cover off. And God help U.S. boy if that's not tapped right. Because <laughs> this was not fun to getting into this basement, as you saw. Oh. Oh, no. Dip a dicker. No. No? Yeah. Yeah. It is tapped a little retarded, man. You think so? Right there, that stupid little knob. Do you see it? No. Right. It's got to go in there. Right there. I bet you that if you take this, how about this? Here. Take four screws, two on this side, two on the other. Let's take the tools off the top of the board before we get yelled at by the community on YouTube. Well, my little uh, screwdriver go. This one? No, no, no. no big screwdriver. Thank you. I'm going to put your thing right here. So they might be even cabs thing on. Are they not Phillips screws? No. What are they? They change the screw? Everybody's changing all their screws. Why? I don't know. Uh, I think I got it off. To make life harder. Is it like a square? Yeah. Come on, US spoiler. Are you stupid or something? Now, now Mike's back on it. It's 9.15. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Let's see. See, you know what happens? Put the wrench on it, and you know what's gonna happen, right? Cross the thread. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna fall right off. Well, it's definitely Ooh. not straight. It's not straight? Yeah, oh, it's way crooked. Oh, yeah. Unless the gas pipe's crooked. No, I mean. No. It is. You're moving around. Right. Yeah. That's definitely not. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Bafangu. Cool. Better be the better be something. No. If we need, maybe if you imagine a rep comes and gets it in first try, one in. Hold on, let me get in there. That's a thread. No, that's definitely crooked. Mm -hmm. 
Is it like right here? Is it that right the there? It's that front the thing right there. Oh. Let's try to chisel away that a little bit right there. Mm. Oh, that's why, look. Yeah, it's crawling. It's, 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 it's fucked up right there. That whole section, it's just that one section, it's like an extra thread. Yeah. So. Mother effort. What do we what do you have to, to chill away at this a little bit? Where'd it go? <laughs> yeah. It's off at an angle. Is the back's like lifted off? <sighs> what a way to kill a day. Now you gotta catch that front first. Looks good. Oh, nice. yeah. Wow. How long did that take? <sighs> Shit, that took like 15 Long minutes. Time. Thanks, U.S. Boiler. Thank you, U.S. Boiler. Wow. All right, so we're about to start pressing. We're going to clean this pipe and deburr at the same time. We have this $250 part by... Yeah. You got it? On the control? Yeah, still unscrewing it. Oh, it's here. Hold this. Hold that. Okay. Let's see. Nice, doesn't she look nice? Good, okay. So we're gonna put one elbow there. We're gonna come down with a street 90. Okay, that's gonna be our drop header. We're gonna come down, go like this, cross. We're gonna come out this way, loop around, and pick up the two T's. So, you'll see Mike working with the pipe. Outside of the pool. It works well? Yeah, it works. We just gotta clean it now. Can you clean it with this wall? Yeah. Oh, careful with the dr drill, bro. <laughs> Don't break my drill. Damn, what the hell? Why does it sound it's like this? Wow. So much torque on the end of it. There's a lot of torque there. Let's uh, slow it down. How is it? Clean it. There you go. Yeah, cool. I gotta get the other one. No, the end is where not where the thing is. All right. Okay. 
We have the price. Listen now. How are we doing? Good, We're doing good. Oh, that's burning. Yeah. All right, Peter, let's get two-inch press. All right. We have... <laughs> wow. While we were pressing this together, and uh, look at that, 10 o'clock. While we're pressing this together, I was just shaking my head in disbelief on how fast the Vega Mega Press makes us, saves us some time. Um, it's not even, it's, it's a minute to 10 o'clock. All of this is set up. It's all pressed in. We just have to put a four and a quarter inch, two inch nipple here. The street, I'm sorry, the 90, another nipple here, and the 45. And we've got to tie in our wet return. And um, water, Daniel's working on gas. Flue pipe is done. Um, and we're not skimming the boiler. Why not we skim the boiler, Daniel? Because we're not cutting and threading and we use surjex. Exactly. See? Exactly. So for all the haters out there who said, oh, I've skimmed boys my whole life. What are you doing, Mikey Pipes? You need to skim. I say hogwash. The reason why you need to skim is because plumbers, well, we're messy, generally. And when we cut and thread pipe with cutting oil, right, that oil gets inside the pipe. And I was taught years ago when I was a steam fitter at the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy, right, to very diligently clean the pipe of any oil residue. If you clean the pipe of any oil residue, you don't have to skim the boiler. Now, granted, when they manufacture this boiler, there's some oils in the process, and that's why I use Surgex. Surgex helps us give us some of that dry steam, and knock on wood, be good. It sounds hollow, doesn't it? All right, it may not look like we're getting much accomplished, but we're almost done. When you have the insulation being applied to the, to the piping, and we're gonna put the elbows on, it's really, really, really gonna look epic. Mike uh, did a little elbow break there and connected the inch and a half wet return. We have a drain right there so we could drain out the uh, wet return. We're gonna do our water feeder right there. We're gonna connect to our water up there and put the automatic feeder back in. Daniel's working on He's working on something. Cutting the conduit. You're cutting the conduit? He's cutting the conduit. Let's see. Oh, look. He's cutting the... <laughs> what a tubing cutter. What a tubing cutter. That's awesome. Uh, and meanwhile, I just got a, an email from PayPal that John, John Paul Borello just donated 100 bucks to the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy Charitable Organization. Thank you so much, John. I really appreciate it. Um, we're we're going to make the trades great again by delivering free or low-cost plumbing, heating, and air conditioning services to those in the community who can't afford to hire a professional. We did, we've completed four jobs already. Uh, just last week, we restored water to a lady's home. She hasn't had water in six months because she couldn't afford, she couldn't afford to hire a plumber to fix the burst pipes in her home. Every time she needed to take a, we'll take a dump. Well, anytime she needed to use the bathroom, we're keeping it real, come on, we have a little potty mouth every so often. Every time she needed to use the bathroom or wash dishes, she had to prepare buckets in the basement and catch the water that was coming from the ceiling. And then quickly turn off the water when she was done. That is no way to live. And if, if there are people like that in my community, we're going to help them and we're going to do it for free. Or whatever they can afford, we're going to make it happen. So the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy Channel Organization. I'm going to put a QR code up on the screen right now or I'll try to do that. Yeah, I'll try to do that right now. Scan that in. Press pause right now. And every dollar helps. Every dollar helps. Do it now. All right, while Daniel is wiring the automatic feeder to the low water cutoff, we're using a schematic I keep on the iPads. This is the WFE24 to the CG400. Let's do an overview. Um, I'm using a two inch uh, steam pipe fiberglass insulation on, on all of the near boiler piping. We stopped by the low water cutoff because I'm a little too close to the low water cutoff. It is what it is. But I got T's, I got 90's, I got 45's. It makes it look like it's, realistically, it makes it look like it's covered in asbestos. But it's not. It's the other good white stuff. And it's not cocaine. Okay. Over here, we have our 15 PSI factory supplied relief valve, field installed. 
it's always pointing in the up orientation, discharging out the side. We have a male adapter and a 90, and my drip leg nears the floor. The code for drip legs is minimum of, sorry, max, minimum of one pipe diameter, maximum of six inches. So there's that, there's my drain. This is the skim tapping, which we haven't tightened up yet. Obviously, since I'm trying to turn it by hand. <laughs> the power for the old boiler uh, was on the right-hand side of the previous boiler, so we did it the same way there. Um, this is our um, thermostat TT connection. Let's take a look inside. This is all comes pre-wired, ladies and gentlemen. This is our transformer. This is our thermostat relay, electronic ignition module. This is the S8610M with continuous retry. Down below, we have a rollout switch. It's right there. And there is our combustion uh, burners. One, two, and three. There's our 24 volt Honeywell gas valve. Okay, let's go on to the left side of the boiler. Here is our factory installed pressure troll with pigtail, the brass bushing, the T, the, temper uh, the pressure gauge. We removed it in order to get inside the house. We also removed the side glass, upper and lower valves, and the lower to cutoff. Right there is our spill switch or blocked vent switch. And of course we have our six inch field controls automatic vent damper. We're reusing the WFE 24 automatic water feeder. Customer requested it. This is the bypass valve. It's closed. This is open. We forgot to put in a backflow prevention device. Uh, I guess we'll do that off camera. For gas piping, uh, we had one inch coming down. We used a Mega Press G. It's got the yellow sticker on it. This is by Vega. We have a one by three quarter reducing coupling. From there, we have a piece of three quarter. We put everything threaded, but we have our gas cock, a T, drip like. This is Nassau County. This is not New York City. New York City, you can't have drip legs. That would be a 90. And we have our reducing T, the Union 90 going into our gas valve with a Coupling ex you use a coupling extender? I did. Why? Because I cut it too short. <laughs> Don't you know the, the, the old saying, measure twice, cut once? So I did. You, you did measure once, and you cut once, and then you extended it because you made it oops. No, I measured twice. So I measured one time going from the, the elbow out yeah. to here, and then I measured from the elbow to the jacket, yeah. and then from the jacket up here out to the pipe. <laughs> and I got the same both times. So okay. Like, oh, it's gonna be perfect. But it's not. Okay. It is what it is. Make sure you replenish that from your, on your truck. Because yeah, no. yeah, we don't really stock those. I just happen to stock those in case I decide to make an oops. But you made the oops first and you have my old truck. <sighs> I did? Oh, very nice, very nice. I'm smart. I'm smart. And speaking about smart things, I'm trying to convince Mercedes-Benz to donate a Sprinter cargo van to Mikey Pye's philanthropy. What do you think, Daniel? Think I'm gonna be successful? Um, Probably not. <laughs> but we're gonna try. That's awesome. We're gonna try. Because one way of delivering free or greatly discounted plumbing, heating, cooling services to those of you who can't afford to hire a professional is to ride around in a Mikey Pye's philanthropy Sprinter, wrapped. I'm working, I'm working on it. I'm also working on a surprise. We're going to do something epic that's never been done before. I'm gonna make an announcement in a upcoming video, but I'm leading up to it. Uh, it's gonna be epic. And I'll give you a hint. There's gonna be a goal in mind, and it's kind of like the Jerry Lewis Labor Day Telethon. So you basically ah, no, 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 but there's a goal in mind. There's a goal in mind because instead of helping one, two, or three, or four people at a time, I want to help hundreds or thousands of people at a time. Just powering our numbers, ladies and gentlemen. Together, we're going to make the trades great again. Mark my words, I'm not going to stop until we make the trades great again. All right. That's hard to see. Okay, there you go. Let's shut the light. Let me turn the light off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I always say if you ain't testing, you're guessing. You really like the 310 Tesla, don't you? I love it. You don't like the 300? Have, you, have you used the 300? Thing. Have you ever used the 300? That's the one with the nice screen, right? It's touch screen, yeah. I love this one too. Yeah, Android based. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's easy to navigate. You okay. press the top button, it navigates through the top different ones. Okay. You can see the bottom button, it navigates What's our through the CO right now? Ones. Oh, 21. Okay. Very good. 21 ppm, 22. Very nice. Okay. And, uh, and we have our combustion test probe inside the top of the boiler. And ladies and gentlemen, if you ain't testing, you're guessing. You install heating equipment, right? Water heaters. You should be testing the combustion gases coming out of the boiler, right? Out of the of gas appliance or any appliance that burns fuel. You should be testing because if you ain't testing, you're guessing, right? This thing could be off cal off calibration. It could have a crazy gas valve right now, and it could be putting out twenty thousand parts per million of carbon dioxide. You don't know. You don't know unless you're testing. So. They're not that expensive anymore, ladies and gentlemen. You can pick up the 310 probably for under a thousand bucks. Does it include the printer? Probably not. But check out True Tech Tools. And uh, I don't have a, I'm not a, a true friend, but you know what I use when I buy from True Tech Tools? I use 7% promo code, know it all. <laughs> That's one of their true friends. That's not unofficial. So I'm not a true friend of, of uh, true, true Tech Tools, but um, I use know it all to get 7% off my purchase. So, it is 11.57, and it's still Wednesday, it's still the 26th of April, and we're done. And this job is, is nice and nice, it's very nice, right? You know what's not nice? I'm gonna blow these people up, right? Uh, well, actually, I'm not gonna show their, their name, right? But that is a new steam boiler installation that they were promoting on Instagram, right? Being yeah, so I actually commented, where's the after picture? <laughs> I guess I'm banging. She'd be banging. Water where it shouldn't be. But we are coming out of the top of the boiler, right? Right there, and going to put to that T, to the equalizer. Come on, it's all wrong. You're wrong there, buddy. And I commented, where's the after picture? And they deleted it. <laughs> they deleted it. Matter of fact, they delete all the comments, right? Because they know that they messed up. All clear. I think they specialize in drains. They probably shouldn't be doing boilers. And I hate to talk bad about other contractors, but this is wrong. And if a customer paid you for this boiler, you need to go back there and make it right, because it's not right. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're a plumbing or HVAC contractor and trying to figure out why, how does Mikey Pipes install a boiler before 12 o'clock, before lunchtime? Commissioned, started up, and we were at the restaurant having lunch at 12.15. If you have questions, I got answers. Email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. I'll explain to you how my team gets it done. Even when I'm not there, the job still gets done in a timely fashion. And I've seen personally many examples where it takes days to do what we just did in 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, four and a half hours. I'm not trying to brag. I want to help you and let's together make the trades great again. Thank you so much for all my supporters. Thank you. God bless. Be well. Stay safe.